Hi, it's Betty from Sweetie Darling and today I'm going to show you how to make a fondant tiara using the Marvellous Moulds Tiara Mould that I talked about in my Cake International video. So I've started off by using Squire's Kitchen Flower Paste and I'm rolling out quite thickly. This mould has got quite a good depth to it so if you roll it out very thinly like you normally would with flower paste to make actual flowers, you're not going to get any detail of the tiara from the mould. So it does need to be quite a thick paste Equally, if it's too thick, then when you come to put it in the mould and try and cut the pattern out, it's going to be too thick to actually cut through because this mould is like a mould and a cutter in one. So when you have got your paste the right sort of thickness and of course the right size to cover the mould, dust your mould with some corn flour and then if there's a lot in it, just turn it over and tap it out so you haven't, basically there's little circles in here, you don't want to fill those with corn flour otherwise they're not going to come out on your actual sugar paste tiara. So dust it all with corn flour and then turn it over and just tap it to make sure there's no clumps of corn flour stuck in there. And then if your paste feels a bit tacky, just give that a dust with some corn flour as well. You just basically don't want it to stick and weld in this mould. Once you're happy, you can lay your paste over the top and then I just went across it and pressed my fingers in all over the mould so I knew that the paste was pushed into the mould enough that I was going to get the detail on it and I wasn't going to roll over it and it was just going to push, push itself over the mould, off the mould, instead of into the mould. So push it in first, and then you can come in with a rolling pin and roll over the mould. Now if you just go whoosh straight over it, you're gonna push, you are gonna push the um, paste out of the mould rather than into it. Your aim is the highest edge of this um, cutter, you wanna treat it as a blade, so it's actually gonna cut the tiara shape out. So just short rolls across the mould, until you can see the green edges coming through. So once you've done that, you can then just make sure you've got no rough edges. If you look like you've got any feathered edges, just run your finger or your thumb over the edge of the, the blade sections of the mould. And then you can use a scribe to take out the bits that you don't need. So the small sections in between, the, the, what will be the holes and the detail in the tiara, you can pull those out using a scribe. And again, rub your thumb or your finger over to get rid of any rough edges. Once you're happy with how your tiara looks, you can give it a pull and a stretch in every direction you can. And and that will just loosen the shape a little bit and then you can either hold it upright and fold the edge backwards and gently peel the tiara from it or you can turn it over and fold the edge backwards and gently peel the mold from the tiara whatever works best for you is fine once it's out you will need to decide how you want it displayed if you want it curved if you i mean you could you could wrap this directly around a cake or you can dry it independently to sit on top of a cake which is what i've chosen to do i thought i had a six inch dummy that i could sit this around but i didn't so i used a roll of uh, my cake box labels and that was about five and a half inches so I just wrapped that in some grease proof paper and laid the tiara over that so it was nice and central and then that was the right sort of size for my cake for my tiara to sit on. Now because this is flower paste it dries very 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 quickly. I left this overnight. It is quite thick flower paste so it did take a bit longer to dry than normal flower paste. Rolled really really thinly would take but just left overnight and it was absolutely solid the next day. And then to paint my tiara I used my new crystal candy dust which I was really 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 excited about because they're really sparkly. I used vodka, the vodka that we use for painting not partying, Spiritus Rectificuani, 96% vodka it's ridiculous and that's what I use for painting normally all my stuff with these I felt like the dust were a bit clumpy um, I don't know if it's because I use vodka but it was a bit grainy when I was painting it on and it took me to paint a layer on and leave it to dry completely and then add another layer and leave it to dry and add another layer until it got the depth of color I wanted it was really really sparkly so I liked the finished effect but it did take a long time to get to it and I think I would have been better off using a confectioner's glaze to do it because a confectioner's glaze will still it'll give you the paint consistency but the glaze will set onto the dust and I think they'll work better. It didn't work badly but it's not the consistency that I would have liked and you can see when I'm painting over I've basically done everything a lilac colour and then I wanted to come in and do some gems a pink colour over the top which with normal dust you could do but with these it took me again layering pink on pink on pink and even then it wasn't as pink as I would have liked it. I probably should have left the sections I wanted pink as white and then gone in with the pink afterwards. But because you don't have to do the oil dust I didn't think you would need to with this. But like I said that may just be because I've used vodka instead of glaze. I will give them another go with something else and use glaze instead and see if it makes a difference to the consistency of the paint. But for sparkles, good. And then once my paint on my tiara was completely dry I just used a little bit of royal icing underneath and stuck it onto the top of my cake. So that's how to make a fondant tiara using the Marvellous Moulds Tiara Mould. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button. There'll be brand new videos every single Monday. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week.